He was amongst the composers who brought organ music back. I'm the Classical Nerd, and today we're talking about Joseph Reinberger. Joseph Reinberger was born in 1839, in the capital of Liechtenstein, where his father was the royal treasurer. Young Joseph's extreme prodigiousness on the organ led him to become the parish organist by the age of seven. A special pedal board even had to be built in order to accommodate his young frame. Nearly immediately after attaining the post, his first original composition was performed. He wrote over a hundred works before the age of twenty, when his first publication came. In all, 200 of his pieces were published during his lifetime. Despite his father's initial distaste for having a musician in the family, it was clear that young Joseph had a special gift, and his father eventually allowed him to attend the Munich Conservatory. Weinberger ended up becoming a professor soon after his graduation, and when the conservatory was dissolved, he bounced around to several other important musical posts, eventually becoming court conductor. As court conductor, he was in charge of sacred music in Munich. Felix Mendelssohn may have begun the organ revival, but Joseph Reinberger made it his focus. He completed 20 out of a planned 24 sonatas for the organ, as well as an immense body of work for the instrument on top of that in all sorts of other forms. His organ music is not of the heavy-handed, massively textured, full-throated, bone-rattling variety, but rather one that exploits the stops and is all about clarity of line. On top of this immense organ output, he also produced a dozen masses, as well as many other works. As a professor, he was also known and highly regarded, and in fact he taught many American musicians who came to Europe in order to further their musical education. This included Horatio Parker, who was to teach Charles Ives. Weinberger also taught Engelbert Humperdinck, the original Engelbert Humperdinck, not, not this guy. Hans von Bülow found Weinberger to be the perfect composition teacher and both Brahmsians and Wagnerians found something worthwhile in his works. It says a lot about how universally well-liked he was that these two diametrically opposed camps could find something worthwhile in him. Reinberger achieved great notoriety in his day, but the specialty of the compositions for which he was known, combined with changing musical aesthetics of the time, meant that he was all but forgotten by his death in 1901. His music is actually very stylistically similar to some of the works of Johannes Brahms, as both looked towards the past for inspiration, despite being firmly rooted in the present of their musical times. And yet, while he still enjoys a fearsome reputation amongst organists, a full-scale revival of the rest of his music still has yet to unfold. Thank you. 